Are you overwhelmed with closet clutter and you just can't tell where everything goes? You think you don't have anything to wear, but you got hundreds of things in here? Well, today at At Home with Miss Joan, I got five tips to show you how to put your closet together. You're going to love it. I did it today for mine and Preacher's Closet. I'm going to start here with tip number one, but I will say I got preacher's permission and you need to get everybody's permission if you're going to get in their closet. In fact, he helped me. We had a pretty good time. Tip number one, get you three boxes, okay? Cardboard boxes. And first one, you want to mark it throw away. I put a trash bag in here. Everything goes in here, we're going to throw away. The next one I mark put away. You won't believe it, but when you're in these closets cleaning out, you're going to run up on things that's like... Well, that goes somewhere else in the house. I know exactly where it goes. Put it in this box so you can put it away. Now, the third one that I've got labeled giveaway, but it can actually be broke down to giveaway, as in donate to places, or it can be put in here that you're going to put into your yard sale and you want to sell some items. So three categories here, and you can use these three categories, not just in your closet, anywhere in your house that you want to get organized. Okay, we're at tip number two. First thing you need to do is ask yourself, do you love it? Do you even wear it? Does it fit? Boy, that's a good one, isn't it? Well, and have you worn it in the last year? Well, you say, I don't know. Well, let me tell you how you could do Fix that. Look at your clothes racks, how they are. Get in here and turn them all around backwards. I did that one day. I just took my racks and some of these just spin around and I turned every one of them backwards and then as I wore them and I washed them and I brought them back in here to hang them up I hang them the correct way and in six months or even to a year you'd be amazed at how many items you did not wear now that's how I started was doing this and it helped me purge a lot of my clothes now another tip is go to your calendar and set you a date either six months out in the future or a year so it will remind you to come in here and look at what all you did not wear since i've done that i don't have to swap out my summer and winter clothes anymore in fact here in alabama we could be freezing to death one morning and by afternoon we're in our shorts and our flip-flops so it really does help tip number three is choose your colors Miss Joan, what do you mean? Well, I don't wear all the colors anymore. I picked out a few colors that I think look the best on me, my color chart, and I got rid of all the other colors. And what I did was I picked out black and gray. I picked out blue, and that's how I line them up in my closet. Blue, uh, black and gray, and then my purple and pink colors, and then what spins off of red, because I think I look really good in red. It's my favorite color, which would be the red and the burgundy. All the colors that I wear now, I got rid of everything else. That means I don't have any tans, browns, yellows, orange, green. If you take out that many colors, think about what all that you uh, don't have in your closet no more, and you'll have a whole lot more, co uh, lot more room, a lot more time, because you know what? I found out I get ready a whole lot faster when I'm just working from these colors right here. And here's something else, too. It cut down on things like, well, I have less jewelry, because I had yellow jewelry, orange jewelry, you name it. Miss Joan had it, okay? Got rid of all that. It cut down my purses. I have fewer purses because it's just in this range of colors. My shoes are, are less. My socks, <laughs> you won't think about it. You'll have less socks in your sock drawer. Coats, I had a tan coat and a, oh, just all color shades of brown. Got rid of all of them. And also this one you hadn't even thought of a bet. You have less nail polish because I had to have the peach nail polish to go with my peachy clothes. You know what I mean. Think about what all less you would have. Get ready a lot quicker if you just wore a certain family of colors. I've been doing that now probably for about two years and I absolutely love it. Tip number four is labeling. I loved it when I was able to put all my clothes in the closet, okay? That includes not just your hang-up clothes, but uh, your t-shirts, your shorts, and even your underwear and things. So what I've done, I just had an old chest drawer, that we, a chest that we wasn't using, and I labeled all the drawers. You can see I've got <laughs> bras and panties together, slips and camisoles. You don't wear those more anymore. My swimsuits, my swimsuit cover-up, see it? Gowns, house coats. Uh, large bags. I, I do like to cover some things in plastic. And here's sweaters because you know sweaters get those little bumps on them when they're hanging on the racks. So I fold my sweaters and put them in that drawer. And then uh, PJs and 
Oh, yeah, I got two t-shirt drawers, and you might be wondering about them. This means that's my good t-shirts. They don't have any stains. I got this one marked t-shirts with stains, because around home, we're always doing some kind of little painting or some kind of little job, and the t-shirts get spoiled. So I just picked me out one under this drawer that's already messed up and use it again. And then my shorts, my sleeveless tops. I got a sock drawer. I even uh, keep my travel supplies uh, in one of these drawers labeled. It's real easy for me when I get ready to pack, grab a suitcase because I keep stuff like that up high and get my traveling supplies and here I go. Got my hats, my visors. See, everything's labeled and it's really good. I did that in Preacher's Closet too. You know, men, they can read. They may not know which drawer stuff goes in, but they can read. So he's got one that says shirts and uh, T-shirts and socks and underwear and handkerchiefs and it's clearly... A label and he puts his stuff in there. He's really good at it. Okay, but say you had a child and they wasn't able to do any reading Well, clip out a picture of a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and just tape it on there and they can help you put the clothes away Now I'm not going to open the drawers because I don't have the fancy mess where you roll them and uh, Fold them a certain way. This is what I do on a laundry day I come in here with my laundry basket. I open up all these drawers and I go whoo, 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 whoo. Well, I'm done because I feel like I got more things to do in my life than everything be folded perfect. Now, if that's your thing, you carry on with it. But I just like for my stuff to be where it's supposed to be and I can pull it out when I need it. Tip number five is called what I call the container method. Now, if you want to look that up on YouTube under Dana K. White, she really, uh, in this phrase, the container method, does really good with it. But I, this is, we just talked about the labeling. Well, all of these are also in containers. So, you see, I won't have any more shorts than what this drawer will hold. If it gets too full, we've got to get rid of some shorts, okay? And that's called the container method. You have mapped out this certain space, and that's where these things are going to go, and it's not going to overflow. You're not going to stick them somewhere else. You're not going to get a second container. This is it for my shorts for the summer. Okay, I use that container method in other things too, and that would be like my jewelry. I'll just mosey over right here. I trim my jewelry down too. You know, I told you about all the colors that I used to have when I got rid of all that jewelry. Look at here. I just got this little thing here now, and I've got it labeled silver and gold, black and red, and then it's just the colors that I'm wearing. I did keep a few neutral pieces and a holiday jewelry, you know, flag jewelry and stuff like that. But that's my jewelry and I won't get any more than what this container would hold. And also within these drawers, I use egg cartons. I don't know if I want to pull all this out, but I can try. See, these drawers just fill out. This is pink and blue right here in purple. And I use egg cartons to keep the smaller things in there. And it really helps. You can just, I believe in using what you got. And those egg cartons can be used in so many different ways. All right, this, like I said, here's my container method. Miss Joan don't need any more jewelry than what these little drawers will hold. I'm also using the container method for my shoes, okay? This is just a little bookcase that a uh, preacher put me some more shelves in. And I'm not going to own any more shoes than what my container, my size that I picked will hold, okay? So, and I, I think I told you earlier, I use what I have. So I have this little bookcase full of shoes and I do have two drawers and an old filing cabinet that I've got that says summer shoes and I got a few pairs of boots. And on boots, if you got the tall boots, you could take a magazine and roll it up in there and they'll stand up just as straight or some old uh, tubes for wrapping papers long at Christmas, you get that big paper, put one of them tubes down in there and hold them boots up straight. But anyway, we're talking about the container method. Here's my shoes, I got them lined up by the colors. So if I'm gonna get a new pair of shoes, cause there's one hole down here, but I'm wearing that shoe right now, okay? <laughs> If I'm going to get a new pair of shoes, I've made myself get rid of a pair. And I learned the other day, I love these, but they're way too big. I bought them, and they're too big, so I've got to put these in the donate pile. So now I've got a hole where I get a new pair if I want to. But anyway, just think of a container and say, hey, this is the amount of shoes or items I'm going to have. I'm not going over it. That way your house won't get so full of junk. I, I'm using this rack here as my container. You can use a rack. And it is just my scarves. I do enjoy scarves in the wintertime, but it's in the colors range that I use. So I was able to get rid of a lot more. Notice, well, you also got a donate box in here. That'd be one of my little extra tips to tell you. I keep a donate box in just about all the closets. And that way, when we see something we don't need, we just go ahead and pitch it in here and it's ready to go. Okay, so these will leave here in this closet clean out time. I'm giving you five organization tips to get your closet in tip-top shape. Well, now I'm going to give you just a few rapid-fire tips 
Phew, my daughter called, told me to call it that. And I said, I can't say rapid fire tips, rapid fire tips, rapid fire tips. But well, I did, didn't I? Here we go with the rapid fire tips. <laughs> okay, in my sock drawer, I forgot to say, I keep a, you know how the lost sock bag, okay? And I put them in here and we look in here if we've got a stray sock anywhere, okay? And I do use some big, I think the big ones, big racks for holding my coats, okay? Oh, and that's really good because those others seem to break. And then I, oh, here's one of my favorite tips right here. Hanging my purses. Okay. I will explain this little tip right here because <laughs> I've already told you that I don't have any beige in my closet anymore because I don't wear beige. I did keep one neutral purse. Okay. So some of my purples and stuff, they need a neutral purse. Okay. But I love hanging them. Oh, I was doing this trick right here. And this would work if that's what you want to do. I saved all my old t-shirts. I put them in a bag. And I did have each purse stuffed and on a rack. And it got to where I'd come in here and I'd be in a hur hurry changing out clothes. And I wasn't putting the sacks back into the bags where they would sit real nice. You know, because if you don't stuff them with something, they'd fall over every which way. And I didn't like that. So I changed and started hanging my bags. I put the blacks, the reds, got it, the blues and all together. And I just come in here, get me a pocketbook, and then hang the other one back up. And Miss John has actually been keeping that up. And I love it. So I figured that's going to be my long-term way. I keep a mirror on the door in, on the back of the door in here. Now, if you don't have as much space, you could use the back of the door for organizing lots of stuff. But I have a mirror so I can kind of put my clothes on in here and look into that mirror. I'm going to slip over to Preacher's Closet because I want to show you a tip that I love in there. And here's my other tip is I bought one of these just lift up ironing boards and I put it on the wall. <laughs> now, it is over here on Preacher's side on his closet because uh, he has more dress shirts and stuff to press before he goes out. So anyway, this little thing went for about $15 or $20 and we love it and just nail it to the wall and it folds up and we can get our clothes pressed in just a matter of minutes. I apologize for the noise. The fan is hooked to the light in here and we can't help that. But anyway, he keeps his stuff so like I told you, men can read and they can throw their stuff in the right place. Oh, I wanted to say rapid fire one more time. This little trick right here is uh, Saturday night I get in here and get my Sunday morning clothes out hang them up, put my jewelry with it, put my shoes down here in my purse, and I'm all ready to go. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Hey, we're here at the ending, and I did notice, if you saw this picture of my mom and my two brothers and me hanging up in there, I look at it every day. It just makes me happy, so I just keep it propped up there in the closet. I'm going to get me a pretty frame for it and hang it up in there, but that's why you saw that in there. <laughs> okay, remember throw away, put away, and give away? Well, after we got through with mine and preacher's closet, we had a whole thing here uh, to throw away. This, I don't, who would ever thought the Clorox wipes was in there, some lotion. Look here, here's the binoculars. They go somewhere else. We're going to put that stuff where it goes, okay? So that's all you knew I wasn't through, didn't you? One more thing. Under put away, you say, well, Miss Yarn don't really know where to put it. Look up my video called Storing Large or Big Items for Holidays or Anytime. There's a whole box system in there to help you have a place for everything. Do it. It'll change things, Joe House sister. That's why it works. Throw away. Easy. Put away, gonna do it. And here's the stuff that Miss Jones gonna donate. And do you see this orange bracelet? Do I wear orange? Flit or no? <laughs> but it was in there, so I found it, and there it goes. I hope this helps you get your closet cleaned out, get the courage to go ahead. Use the same little system right here in uh, any room of your house. I loved uh, getting with y'all today right here from at home with Miss Jones. Today at that home, wait, am I supposed to say that? Are you overwhelmed by? Don't say at home, Miss Jones. Including my slips and uh, underwear. I'm going to start over. People don't wear slips no more. <laughs> you stopping? Just keep going. I just like for things to, I not, like to know. Oh, we're going to start again. Okay. There we go. You got to get this right. I'm going to move now over to my show. Whoop. I'm going to move now over to my shoes. Now I'm going to give you just a few rapid fire. Hmm. You knew I couldn't do it. What was it? Yeah, I uh, now I'm going to give you a few rapid fire tips. And now I'm going to give you oh, a few. You got to do the whole thing again. Oh, I can't piece rapid that together. Fire tips, rapid fire tips. Okay. I've given you five organization tips to get your. Well, never. I... But anyway, I don't know what to say next. Do you? Help me. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know.